Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining us today in the framework of the International Forum and Expo of Academic Collaboration. Uh, it's a pleasure this morning to welcome one of our partner institutions, uh, the Université de Bordeaux. We are welcoming here Deborah Didioge from the, uh, Mo the Department of Mobility. Uh, we are, I'm going to describe how we'll be uh, doing the session during the presentation. If you would like to ask questions, we encourage you to take questions into the question box in WebEx or otherwise uh, on Facebook. Um, the question will be collected and posed during the Q&A session at the end of the presentation. Um, and with that, I would like to introduce Deborah Didio uh, from the University of uh, Bordeaux. Uh, Deborah, thank you very, very much for being with us. It's a true pleasure to, to see you. And I will leave you the floor with the presentation. Good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to present our university. So I will, uh, as Sophie said, Virginie said, uh, try to present really briefly the University of Bordeaux, uh, and I will give space to your questions uh, at the end. Um, so, I will share now my screen with this presentation. Okay, it should work. Okay, can you confirm? it works okay i guess so okay so welcome to the university of bordeaux Deborah, we see perfectly your presentation okay thank you sorry you just, I... just you can put it full screen if you wish yeah uh, I, I thought i put it uh, Is it, is it better now? Is it okay? It's perfect. Okay. It's perfect. Okay. Um, okay, the University of Bordeaux is a multidisciplinary, research-focused international university, recognized campus of excellence by the French government. Okay. Now I'm going to present some facts and figures quite briefly, and we'll answer your question later on, as just that said. So if you, I will really go quickly on the slides, but if you have more details that can be uh, made available by uh, my colleagues in Guanajuato to you, if you want, uh, so you will have all details in the slides. Okay. The University of Bordeaux is the third French university based on number of students, with 56,000 students main, mainly enrolled at undergraduate level, and almost 6,000 staff members, more than half being academic and research. In terms of education, the University of Bordeaux offers almost 200 master and 150 bachelor programs in all fields and levels. In terms of research, we have 70 research labs, several doctoral schools, with more or less 2,000 PhD students enrolled, as well as graduate research school and programs, by the way, labeled by the Initiative of Excellence program. What about our international activities? We welcome more than 70,000 international students, mainly from Africa and the European countries. Within our study offer, we count over 50 international study programs, meaning by that courses either teaching in a foreign language or in, with international mobility and or with a double degree at the end. The University of Bordeaux collaborates with many international partners located in more than 80 different countries. This allows 
quite intensive activities in terms of students and staff member exchanges every year. About our research, out of 70 research labs that we mentioned before, 22 are international, and uh, we have also three cross-border joint labs and two international joint units. The ambition of the University of Bordeaux in terms of research leads us to participate actively in the European programs. Thus, we take part in under 30 European collaborative projects within the framework of uh, Horizon 2020 and community and sorry, uh, knowledge innovative communities, but also in uh, 25 IRC grants, more than 30 Marie Curie grants, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, finally, we welcome uh, around 900 international researchers every year. In terms of international ranks, rankings, the University of Bordeaux is within the top 12 of French universities, according to Shanghai General Ranking in 2020, and other rankings, as you can see here. The education at the University of Bordeaux is organized in four colleges and three institutes. The, four co the first college is the Science and Technology one, based in a campus called Talence, near Bordeaux Center. The second one is the Health Sciences, near the, uh, um, the uh, student hospital, the main one in, in Bordeaux. The third uh, college is in Law, Economics, Political Sciences and Management. And the fourth one, uh, uh, situated in the city, in the downtown, is in Human Sciences. And we have also three institutes, one dedicated to education, the second one is for uh, vocational education, so the University Institute of Technology. And the third one, of course, is dedicated to vine and wine science. Now, um, I'm going to uh, present to you also to say some words about the campus and the daily life in Bordeaux, at the University of Bordeaux. First of all, we have to take the, the, uh, the uh, dimension, the dimension into account uh, about the University of Bordeaux, which is one of the rare uh, universities in Europe with this configuration. So the University of Bordeaux is located in many campus sites in the city of Bordeaux and its surroundings, surroundings as well as in several cities of the Aquitaine region, as you can see in the, in the, in the map here. Therefore, we have one of the largest campus in Europe with 187 hectares, uh, so one of the largest campus uh, sites in Europe. The uh, University of Bordeaux campuses provide the academic uh, community with an ideal environment for both learning and learning. Student services, such as libraries, university restaurants, student health centers, digital environment, work environment, student life centers are available to students on each site. A specific and high quality welcome services are available specifically for international students. By the way, the University of Bordeaux has recently been awarded the highest level with three stars for Choose France label that I hope you have heard about by Campus France. Also, uh, a wide range of cultural, artistical, and sports activities are available for our students with a very active uh, network of student associations and services. Now, what about Bordeaux as a city and the Aquitan region? Well, so, uh, sorry, I will come back later. Uh, Bordeaux has been described as an outstanding urban and architectural ensemble, classified as city of art and history, and of course, the wine capital of the world. As you can see here, Bordeaux is close to the Atlantic Ocean, the Basque Country in Spain, and the French part, of course, and the Pyrenees Mountains, and only two hours from Paris. Bordeaux is also 
as you might know, part of the, a part of the UNESCO World Heritage uh, List with this wine and this natural environment, it's a really safe and place uh, quality, it, it, it offers a really safe and pleasant quality of life for students, but also for uh, researchers and for, uh, yeah, uh, for, for people in general, for us as, as tourists. Thanks for your attention and I will be happy to answer your questions. Deborah, thank you very much for this very interesting presentation of University of Bordeaux. Uh, I will now open the floor for questions. I'm going to let me review. We have uh, the first one. What is the most attractive program for students, okay. international students? Yeah, okay. As I said, uh, I can go back to the slides and go uh, more deeply about this part. Um, we can benefit, okay, stu international students, um, and I have to say mainly within exchange programs, but not only, um, can benefit from a really large panel of, uh, of uh, activities uh, that the uh, international office in which I work uh, offer, uh, offers, but also um, from other uh, university services, such as the, uh, okay, in this period, really, <laughs> really uh, actual uh, and important the, uh, the student health services, uh, but also the uh, student life services with many activities either in, uh, um, in uh, for, for the cultural integration of international students, but also for more practical things uh, such as the accommodation, the um, administrative procedures with, uh, with the visa, with the, the uh, stay permit, uh, the, the resident permit, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, I don't know more. Yeah, for for and of course all the libraries, the uh, university restaurants, as I said. Uh, so the the uh, all the services that are open for the national students, I I would say, are open to international students too, with a little focus on the uh, body system uh, that we uh, uh, strongly promote for international students. We, which means that an, uh, every international student can have a, 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 a body, uh, a French one, uh, and we have a, a specific uh, internet tool, digital tool, so the students, international students can uh, enter the, uh, uh, the, some criteria, for example, more for pedagogical uh, uh, help, uh, rather than more for the administrative help or whatever, uh, or just for fun, for, for going out the, 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 during the night time. Uh, and they can, uh, they are uh, put in contact with uh, a list of uh, potential uh, bodies, uh, so they can have activities together. In terms of social uh, and cultural integration activities, I can also, also mention um, a really, um, I have I have to say with a with a little uh, point of uh, um, prideness also uh, an, a big event that we organize uh, since I think uh, 2018 so it's only two years from now uh, the, 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 which is the welcome orientation week uh, for international students um, in which we um, offer to the students uh, um, some French, very basic uh, French courses, if they have the, a basic level, of course, uh, a beginner level, uh, and with several uh, levels according to the the, uh, the the level of the student in uh, in French uh, as foreign languages language, uh, and this is offered to uh, all the student international students within our exchange programs and double degrees, um, um, regardless uh, of the fact that the student is going to uh, uh, attend courses in English or in French. Uh, so of course, if he's in French, the, he should have a, like B1, B2 level, but we, he, he can be like in full immersion with, the, with, with PERS and also with the French teachers 
um, uh, not only about uh, like the, the language, the basic language, but also with uh, some notions uh, um, about the, the kind of uh, courses that they they are going to take, uh, the exam systems, uh, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and also, so, sorry. So, so students may also take classes in English. It's a possibility for yes, all students who may. Um, I can just coming back here. Yes, here we have uh, uh, six international study programs, uh, either uh, at undergraduate level, PhD level, and master level, of course. Uh, some of them are also uh, being labeled by the European Commission with a, a label of excellence, such as, just for example, the Erasmus Mundus programs, if, 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 uh, if it is uh, known in, uh, in Mexico. Um, yes. Yeah, so, and uh, the students can find uh, like a, a portal uh, online called Find a Course. So if you put on Google Find a Course University of Bordeaux, uh, they will have like a catalog, the full catalog uh, of courses taught in English, um, either just modules, so um, the teaching units, as it's called in, uh, in France, but also uh, um, the entire master or bachelor programs uh, taught in English, English or other language. Uh, yeah, we have a few of them also in Spanish, one of them in German, in Germany, in German, sorry. So, uh, uh, of course, we have uh, we, we have developed a lot of the, uh, the, the courses in English just to be more open, I would say, for international students. Uh, just to finish about the welcome session, so uh, this welcome session pro provides students with uh, some uh, notions in French, uh, French uh, with like uh, 20 hours for a really intensive course in a week. Um, and then also uh, practical activities such as, okay, for the accommodation, for the uh, enrollment, for the, with, with a really specific uh, um, Follow up of students uh, through our uh, mobility offices and uh, life uh, student life centers. And at the end, we have a big like 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 a big event, uh, either with a one day activity uh, in the countryside of Bordeaux or on the ocean if the uh, the, tide, the weather is uh, fine. Uh, so this is quite uh, quite good for them because they are uh, put in contact with the buddies, with other international students, with our uh, staff members, uh, either uh, pedagogical point of view and administrative point of view. Okay, could you, uh, Deborah, tell us about the days of the uh, academic calendar? Yeah, okay. We, we have the classical uh, European academic calendar. So. The, uh, the, um, the academic year is uh, usually starts the very first days of September um, until uh, uh, mid-May uh, with the exams going uh, until end of May uh, usually. So the students have then, uh, they can either stay for a little bit more in France uh, if they are uh, from abroad, of course, uh, until June, for example, uh, then enjoy the, the city uh, and the surroundings, um, or of course uh, go back to the to the to, to, to their country. Um, and we have two terms, so it's the September till end of January. Uh, yeah, for just one faculty, have some. Course, some exams still in uh, in January, early January, uh, in law, economic, uh, economics, uh, management, and political science. Uh, otherwise, for the other, uh, the, the end of the uh, or the first term is uh, end of uh, December, and then the second term starts in January and ends in uh, in May. Excellent. Um, or. Audience has uh, a few other questions. Do you would like to know if it's easy to move from uh, from the different uh, inside the campus, uh, inside the city? Can you explain a little bit how it's uh, it's? Uh... Okay. Of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I can understand because it's uh, quite scaring actually. This 
this map, I, <laughs> I, I totally agree. Um, okay, um, I have to say, to be more precise about this, that the main campuses are, uh, as I said, okay, the four colleges, maybe it's easier if I start from uh, this slide. So uh, all the uh, science and technology um, uh, courses uh, and uh, fields uh, is, uh, are situated in the, in the campus, in the main campus, the Talence one, which is like uh, 10 minutes uh, by tram uh, from the city center. And uh, yeah, also 10, uh, according to the, yeah, uh, it depends on the, on, the, on the accommodation of the student, but in the university residences, for example, the university accommodation, they are mainly situated in the near, the, between the campus of uh, Talence, Science and Technology, and the one which is in Pessac, in Law, Economics, Political Sciences and Management. So, um, for our uh, international students within the exchange programs, and also for um, students coming by themselves, I mean, for, for studying all the master courses, they are, they are uh, our priority, we can say, students to accede to uh, a, a panel of uh, accommodation that we have reserved for them uh, at the university residence, residences with also uh, a quite good fare actually for them. Um, and just to, to, to come back to the, uh, to the faculties, to the location, um, the university residences are situated be between these two campuses, which are actually, uh, uh, they they, ch they touched each other, uh, but they are quite big, of course. So we have the tram line, uh, which deserts all the all, all these campuses. So it's quite good uh, connected with the, either with the city center uh, uh, or with the other campuses, either by bus or by tra tramway, with a with a really frequent uh, uh, trams and uh, and buses. Um, so. To come back to this, the uh, yeah, in Bordeaux you can see in the loop here. So you have site site de Talon, so the, the Talon sites, site uh, Pessac site, site uh, which you have all the uh, law, uh, political science management, and uh, and economics, uh, and then Carrère, which is also like 10, 10 minutes by bus. Um, it's uh, for health sciences, so uh, quite close to the hospital, the university hospital. And then we have the seat, Victoire C site, uh, which is in the downtown for human uh, sciences. And all the other sites are um, like, this is for the Institute of Education, SP, Merignac. This is for the um, Institute of Technology, Gradignan. ESVV is the Institute of the Wine and Wine Science. So I mean, they are uh, they have like a, a, a field logic lo logics behind. <laughs> so it's it's easy to reach the the other campuses. Uh, for example, if you have uh, an activity to or if you want to meet with with, with other students. Um, so all the sites in Bordeaux are quite easy to to reach each other. And all the other um, campuses, uh, or better sites uh, in the region, are specific for uh, a certain discipline. So you have all the list here. Um, okay. Uh, so just for, for example, uh, Bayonne is one of the sites near the ocean because there is a, a platform, uh, like a training platform, uh, dedicated. Precisely to the uh, um, to sports activities uh, and uh, management of sport, and also linked with the uh, surf activities, etc. So they they are really close to the to the field, I would say. Thank you, Dara. We have uh, another questions. Um, is there a chance for students to do volunteering work uh, in the framework of their, their studies? Do you have such programs? Um, I'm not sure. 
bo bo voluntary i mean yeah yeah of course sorry yeah i didn't yeah, get this question uh yes um if the the the, the student mean um means the uh, student association for example they are of course voluntaries uh, and we have uh, as i can i presented i think we have more than uh, 100 uh, no it's not here sorry uh, yeah uh, yeah we have uh, 135 student associations dedicated with uh, either uh, orientated on the, the specific field or for for example um, activities for international students, another one about the uh, environment goals, etc., uh, etc., et sports, etc. So, um, if the student means this point, yes. Uh, otherwise, in general, uh, they can also have access to any association. I mean, it's like a, a little, a little money at the end, at the at the beginning for the whole year to be part of the association. But I think is quite the same everywhere. Uh, they pay like like a. a, a uh, yeah, the fee for for be part of the association, and I can uh, be part of it. Excellent. So there's a lot of association for students to to get involved with during this. Very very interesting. Um, one person is asking, um, can you tell us a little bit um, about the residences? Do you? Is there residences at the University of Bordeaux? Uh, uh, how does it work for students when they arrive uh, for housing? Yeah, okay. So we have, um, unfortunately, uh, given the, the, the in, in Bordeaux, the, um, the accommodation uh, uh, topic is quite uh, difficult to, to, <laughs> to discuss uh, in, because we have a lot of people that came uh, not only students of course but also uh, workers uh, that came in bordeaux and still come uh, now in bordeaux uh, and uh, um, uh, at, at the moment we had more people coming than uh, accommodation available um, and of course for the students uh, the university residences are not uh, covering all the cannot cover all the uh, the needs uh, however, for our international students uh, in within the exchange programs, uh, we have some, as I said during the presentation, some reserved places. Um, so my colleague, my colleagues in the uh, mobility offices, uh, propose the students uh, to apply for this before arriving, in order to uh, also facilitate the uh, visa process, uh, the visa uh, to obtain the visa. Um, and we act as uh, facilitators with the with the with the with the, uh, sorry, with, the um, with the people from the residences. Uh, so they have to apply, and they have also uh, the, 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 these kind of accommodations are um, cheaper than the private market. Otherwise, uh, if students don't want to be in the in the uh, university residences, they can also have uh, help and support to apply for private residences because we um, have a partnership with uh, a private startup uh, working specifically with our international students uh, to to yeah to to help them to support them uh, either with the French speaking landlords, for example for uh, checking the contract so it it's like just to to make you understand better the uh, the kind of a uh, tool is like uh, airbnb for students only for students of the university of bordeaux uh, so um, even the payment of any for example uh, money that uh, the landlord asks in advance are um, are uh, they they act as uh, like like deposit actually uh, via this, this uh, through this uh, tool, so everything is, uh, um, yeah, secure, securized. Uh, Excellent. Them. Excellent. So you're supporting the student in this in this process. It's important to okay. to know about that because always, it's always something that uh, students worry about. So I'm I'm yeah. glad to know about that. And specifically in Bordeaux, we can understand. We spend yeah. a lot of time with with these with students. students. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's a it's a beautiful it's a beautiful city uh, that really uh, that attracts in region. It's that attracts a lot of uh, of visitors of uh, students, and uh, we uh, definitely un understand that. Um, we have I will I will have to pause from now as we are just uh, a few a few very few minutes over time. Uh, I'm very very grateful, uh, Deborah, that. Uh, you're here with us today to present the University of Bordeaux. Uh, it's indeed, um, as I was saying, beautiful city with beautiful region, a renowned university. Uh, I would definitely say, tell students to go. Uh, it's, uh, it's a great opportunity. So thank you for this fantastic presentation, Deborah. And, uh, and I will, uh, and saying, telling the students that if they have other questions, if they're interested in going in mobility to Université de Bordeaux, to approach their, their mobility coordinator, the uh, enlace, as we, as we say in Guanajuato, in each campus, and definitely ask the, the question, the doubts that they have. Um, Deborah, thank you again. Uh, it was my pleasure to... to be part of this event, first of all, uh, and also to present my university. And of course, just go online uh, on the on the website. Uh, we have an English portal uh, dedicated to international students, so uh, and uh, personnel, of course. So don't hesitate to, to contact uh, either me or my colleagues in the uh, mobility offices uh, through your your also mobility officer. Um, and um, if you can, of course, if you want to share the presentation, we are really happy with this. Thank you again for the opportunity. Thank you. I wish uh, our attendees a wonderful rest of the day. Take care, everyone, and uh, keep on uh, following the station that, will be, uh, that we will be offering all day long. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you. Bye. 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 Have a good day.